Welcome back. Today I want to talk about Scrum, what it is and why it's important for you to know that. Now, Scrum is a lightweight framework um, that's related to agile software development. And Scrum helps people and teams and organizations generate value through adaptive solutions for complex problems. Now, let's untangle that sentence for a second. Scrum, a lightweight framework. That means it defines some ideas, some processes, some um, guidelines, how to manage uh, a project, how to manage uh, something that uh, tries to solve a complex problem. Okay, so we're not talking about um, trivial problems there. It's uh, something that we haven't really encountered before. And much like software development is a complex problem, usually. It's, it's not a, a run of the same copy paste, do everything uh, as it was before. Usually we write a software software to solve a complex problem. And Scrum is a framework that helps us do that. With the Scrum framework, we've got sort of built-in uh, adaptation, adapt and inspect is, uh, or inspect and adapt rather, <laughs> in the other direction. We're going to inspect what the current situation is, what the problems are with the current situation, and we're going to adapt and try to change something and see whether it helps us solve that problem. Okay, so that's what Scrum is about. And Scrum defines, um, uh, wants to foster an environment where we've got different roles, um, different uh, people have having different uh, responsibilities um, and Scrum sort of um, puts an order, gets an order into these different uh, responsibilities there. Um, and first, we've got a product owner, um, we've got a Scrum team and we've got a Scrum master. And the product owner uh, basically orders, quote unquote, the work for a complex problem and he orders it, um, not by ordering somebody else to do it, but he, he orders the priorities. Um, he breaks it down, this, this, this complex problem, into um, several stories, user stories, as we like to call them, or product backlog items, into a list, into the product backlog, which is basically just a list from, from top to bottom. The topmost entry is um, the most important one, the most uh, uh, urgent one that we want to solve and we want to have a solution for, uh, uh, well, uh, well, to, to, as a first, so something that needs to be done first. And then the Scrum team um, is responsible for turning a selection of this work, of this product backlog, into an increment of value during a time frame that's called a sprint. Okay, again, it's a big um, sentence here. The Scrum team is, well, a, a team built from, from people who are able um, and, and um, manage themselves to uh, take what's been uh, put into the product backlog and turn it into an increment of value. That means we've got working software. We don't create um, documentation. We don't uh, create, uh, we can negotiate over contracts what will be de 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 delivered. Um, we just start with the very first week of the very first sprint of this iteration. Um, and we're going to turn a selection of the stuff that's written in this product backlog, in this list, um, we turn it into working software. And then afterwards, together, the Scrum team and the stakeholders around it um, inspect the results for uh, the results of this, this iteration of this sprint, of this time frame where we work together. And this is not two years, that's uh, more like two weeks. So after two weeks, we're going to sit together and see, okay, what has been done? And of course, you uh, deliver less in two weeks than in two years' time. But it's important to have this um, um, inspect and adapt um, ideology built in from the start. So after the two weeks, uh, we might have um, a window that doesn't show anything. But we have something that we can run and it shows an empty window. Um, it's more than we had like two weeks ago. Okay. Um, and then we're going to repeat the same thing. We're going to say, okay, well, we've got now this empty window. What do we want to put in there? What's, what's the next user story? What's the next in the, in the product backlog list? Um, and the Scrum team then selects that and works on, on the next thing um, during the next two weeks. Okay? So that, that's the idea. Scrum is really simple. Um, it's... Um, it tries to, to uh, create a structure and, and put an order into something to create value, value to the business uh, user, to the, to, the, to the customer paying basically for the thing. Okay, And important is the Scrum framework is purposefully incomplete and it's only defining the parts required to implement Scrum theory. 
Um, Scrum is built upon the collective intelligence of the people using it. That's, that's very, very important, okay? Um, rather than provide people with detailed instructions, like with a detailed framework of what, where, who needs to do what and when, the rules basically um, guide the relationships of these people and their interactions um, while they are working on this, this complex problem. And we've got various processes and techniques and methods, um, and they all can be employed within this Scrum framework. So Scrum just wraps around existing practices um, or renders them unnecessary and says, no, we don't need to do that. Also important, Scrum makes visible um, what's working right now and what isn't working, right? It, it makes it visible and that can sometimes cause uh, discomfort because you're seeing, well, okay, um, now I've, I see it in, in front of me because the, the, the way that the, the Scrum uh, is, is built and set up um, is, well, yeah, it shows me, well, here we've got a problem. We need to change that. We need to uh, adapt that. But yeah, that's, that's also what Scrum is about. Scrum is to making it visible and to see that we can uh, identify where we need to make improvements. And I'm quoting here um, a lot of, of, of these sentences from the official Scrum Guide that you can get from scrumguides.org, um, where uh, the, the, the two guys who were um, sort of the inventors of Scrum, Ken Schwaber and, and Jeff Sutherland, um, they sort of invented or thought about um, what, what they need to, or what they want to change in the, in the software development um, yeah industry in the early 1990s and now we are in the 2020s here so like 30 years uh, later we're still talking about that with scrum and um, we're gonna uh, they they are still adapting it and, and changing stuff um, that's unclear and and making and things yeah better and, and clearer so that's a sort of a, a testament that's the proof that this this thing um is is relevant it's working um and and software companies all around the world are using scrum to manage their software development work although i will be the first to admit that um sort of the the range um that that people are really uh, implementing the stuff that's defined in the scrum framework that varies. Um, sometimes people say, yeah, yeah, we are agile. And um, basically what they mean is, no, no, we've still got uh, software specification documents and everything. We just um, talk about them daily, right? <laughs> because the daily Scrum uh, is something um, that's uh, quite typical when we are when we're working in Scrum teams. A, a daily meeting where the Scrum team meets and, and talks about what uh, has been achieved yesterday, what they plan to achieve today, and if there's any problems with that, right? Um, so sometimes this daily meeting is enough for organizations or teams to call themselves agile. But uh, yeah, that's certainly not not the idea. Um, certainly, it's good to do that, but it's it's not the full picture there. So to recap. Um, this overview of Scrum, Scrum is a framework that's all about transparency, right? Pre making it visible what's going on right now, uh, making it possible to inspect what's going on, have some ideas of um, yeah, the details of, of, of the problems and, and the, the things that are running good uh, in our software development process. And then having some means to adapt and to experiment and change something and see whether that makes things easier and better or actually the other way around.